welcome back. Are you ready? Do -do -do -do. We have got, oh, there are two brand new Lego Wednesday sets and this is one of them. This is, my head's exploded. We, we have got Wednesday now as an official mini doll. In fact, not just one official mini doll, but two different versions. So we've got two versions of Wednesday, two of Enid and thing is obviously so important. <laughs> yes, a focal feature on the front of the box. Oh my gosh. So you've got the characters with uh, with like with one in everyday outfits and one in their raven outfits in their dresses and they've even got different expressions for both the, the designers of this have gone all out it feels like such a premium set oh my gosh right so many thoughts i'm gonna we're just gonna chat about them the whole way through <laughs> strap yourselves in it's gonna be a wild and spooky ride okay so we've got 700 50 pieces. It's $130 in Australia, $90 in the US, and is currently a Lego shop exclusive. So right now you can only get it at a Lego store or a Lego online. Hopefully it will yeah, become available more widely as time goes on, but I just I just don't know. So we've got two different sticker sheets here. We've got our instruction book. We have got seven paper bags. <gasps> okay, let's go. Let's have a look at the mini dolls first. So we have got, well, this is not actually one of the mini dolls. Two years ago when Wednesday first premiered on Netflix I made my own version of Wednesday as a mini doll <laughs> and her cello and now I mean I don't want to compare them because mine is not going to be anywhere nearly as good as the official one but I'm so excited about this all right so we have got Wednesday's skirt she has got shoes which are why are the bows so weirdly forward at the front that's weird that's odd that's not where bows go okay uh yeah so okay her uniform so good the stripes are oh hold on the stripes on the arms are really whacked because like <laughs> they follow the bend of the elbow so they're good on the side and the back but they look so strange from the front anyway her face Face print is absolutely amazing. It is like they just shrunk Jenna Ortega down. The designers have captured her expression absolutely perfectly and she gets a brand new hairpiece mold specifically designed for this character. Look at that, the plaits, the fringe, everything about this is amazing. There's only, oh, the feel is so... I feel like I should be able to push this down further. It sits so high on her head that it makes her head look a little bit elongated, but this is just a minor quibble. It's just, I can, I can, I can get past this. I mean, look at the detailing in this printing, the little badge with the in it. Oh my gosh. Okay. And we have got, we've got thing, which is, it's got little, little scars printed on his hand. Now this is not just a general old minifigure hand. There are different ways you can attach, like there's a bar attachment underneath and a big round attachment. And the actual uh, wrist part is actually thicker than a minifigure wrist. Oh yeah, I got those words out. So you can hold it like a bar and you can also clip it onto a hand <laughs> so you can put thing on your hand. And because thing used to spend like what well, thing used to use thing spends lots of time hanging out on Wednesday's shoulder. Can't quite get up there because her hair's in the way, but she does sit. What? She, he, it, they, they, thing. Thing sits very comfortably <laughs> on Wednesday's arm. I am so, I'm like so blown away by how much thought went into the design of thing. Oh, so much care. All right. So we have got Wednesday in her school uniform. Putting her next to my custom seems a little bit sad, but we're going to move mine out of the way. We're going to move on to the next one. So give her a spin. Look at those plaits. I mean, look at the detailing in that hairpiece. Oh, gosh, these are just so good. All right. So we have also got, we've got Wednesday in her Raven dress for the Raven dance. And this is, this has become an iconic outfit. So to have it in Lego form is amazing. I've, I'm even tempted to get the Monster High doll that I've been seeing. It keeps getting advertised to me online and I haven't got any Monster Highs in my collection, but I think I might need it for the Raven dress outfit. It looks so good. Anyway, I got distracted. So she has got her beautiful, beautiful printing. Face print is also different, like a slight variation on the on her everyday one. And she has got her hair up in the plait up and around. Now, this is not quite the right hairstyle. Like I am being really quibbly here, which I don't know if that is a word, but I like her fringe should be parting in the middle and it, they, Lego has recycled a hair piece that they already had because it's mostly right but I will accept it it is mostly right look how good these two look all right so we've also got Enid Enid is in her everyday outfit got her floral crochet skirt but her shoes are baffling me completely they're so cute but if I didn't know that they're supposed to actually be yellow high tops I 
Uh, I would accept them, except the printing is really dodgy. I actually don't know what's going on with her shoes. Maybe it's because they're creepy ear feet shoes. I don't know. Purple socks are fine. Uh, her skirt print is very, very pretty and very appropriate. And her sweater, absolutely perfect. And in fact, you know, the color of that orangey yellow on her sweater, that's the color her shoes are supposed to be. And they're supposed to be high tops. So mm, I'm going to dwell on this just for a little bit and then I'm going to move on. So she has got a face print we have never seen before, specifically created for this character. She looks, she's, oh, you know, open face open eyes absolutely guileless such a gorgeous 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 new face print and her hairpiece is Nova's from Lego Friends in bright light yellow but where are her highlights like her rainbow highlights they are absolutely they're part of her personality and she even has them in her werewolf form Mm. So that's a bit of an oversight. I, I'm going to get past the fact that she's got a middle part rather than a side part, but she really needs her rainbow highlights. I can paint them on later. And she has also got her raven outfit, got oh, high white boots, which are, they need another coat of paint, these boots on her legs. They look kind of pinky because the skin underneath is pushing through so they're not as white white as they could be but her dress uh, it, you can tell that you got the fur along the top the little fur trim down the bottom it's sparkly could have done with the sparkles going down the arms as well and the arms could also do with another layer of paint but we don't tend to don't tend to see white being as strongly white as we need to on the mini doll arms and legs so far yeah maybe one day her face print is also brand new slightly different expression she's got little glitter freckles different makeup I really really like like this facial expression for her too and I also love the fact now this <laughs> this hair she does have a side part but she should have a middle part for this hair piece but I love this hair piece it's in light pink I've only ever seen it before in dark in dark brown for Mrs Marvel and I think it looks so good light pink and I uh, would like to see this hair piece in lots of different colors because uh, it's as cl close to my hairstyle as any other Lego wig so yeah very exciting to see this no okay all right so I one more thought I had was that it would be really cool for that Enid could have come with some claw attachments like Wolverine but with claws like being rainbow colored anyway you can't have all of the things but oh my gosh the detailing in these mini dolls are this these these mini dolls are absolutely incredible and I am so so excited that they exist all right let's get on with the actual building because I think I forgot to introduce this in the beginning I got so excited so the name of the set is Wednesday in Enid's dorm room and that is exactly what it is but it is so much more than that the whole and the functionality of it is really, really exciting too because you can actually climb out of the stained glass window onto the terraced area, which is such an integral part of their storyline and their character development. And yes, yeah, so I'm just so, so excited by how this set has been, like the whole design of this has been so thoughtful for all of the elements that actually happen for these two main characters. Okay, so we have zoomed through the first bag because it's basically structural building. We have now got the top here, so the grey part is going to be the terrace, the purple part is Enid's floor, and this little brown part over here is Wednesday's side of the dorm room, and so she's got a black, well, blacky brown desk. Her Obviously her style is in a complete juxtaposition to Enid's style, but I also love how her, like her style is, is gothic, but it's also <laughs> There's also a lot of modern elements in it, like her high top sneakers or, or her platform sneakers, sorry. And yeah, I just I just love everything about this. I think it was so well put together. So we've got cat ears here. These are for the poke up for the black cats team. And there are actually two pairs so that you can put them on both Enid and on Wednesday. Wednesday's hairpiece does have a little hole in the top. <laughs> now I want, oh my gosh, I'll put I'll put it on Wednesday later. But now I want them in their, in their black cats outfits because they were just so freaking adorable. But I could probably paint that. <laughs> You can't have all the outfits. Maybe we can. Maybe we'll get future Wednesday sets. Hopefully for the next season, which I believe is coming next year, we will get some more Wednesday sets. I'll be, I'll be so, so, so thrilled. Okay. All right. So we have got a good amount of structure down already and a little tiny bit of like just teaser furnishings for each, <laughs> each of the girls' rooms. I love that. That just makes, just adds some interest to the building. I mean, not that the building isn't interesting, but it, it actually this whole, all of the, all of this so far has been interesting to build. Okay, cat ears for both of the girls. Look, 
<laughs> Look at that. Oh, no, no, I just want to squeeze that little cheeks. I'm sure Wednesday would absolutely just knife me. All right, so working on Enid's side of the room, we've got some headphones, got two pairs, so I popped one some on Enid as well, and got roller skates, which there actually are, but I think they were silver, like a holographic -y, shiny silver, but pink will do very nicely too. Patchworky matte, just all of the rainbow pastel unicorn colors. And for her bed, which if I remember correctly, was covered in pillows and or stuffed animals. So I'm so curious to see how this is going to be achieved in Lego form. This whole side should just be a, like vomited rainbow. Ah, this is going to be fun. So we have got a cushion here, another cushion here, and this one goes slanty up and this one goes on the bed. So that's a good way to create an idea of stacked cushions. There aren't enough, <laughs> but I'll let it pass. And we've got a stuffed animal, which is a friend style little baby bunny. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh, this brings me so much joy. This, uh, this is her diary just sitting up here on her bedside terrible place. Hide it under your stuffed animals. And working over on the other side, on Wednesday's side, right, so we do some really bright cheery building and then we go over to the gloomy <laughs> side. I love it. I love the mixing and matching. So we've got a bookcase, we've got a the old threadbare rug down on the ground. There's a spot there, I think, for a chair. So we have got a very, very black threadbare armchair. So the sticker on there has got some signs of wear. So good. Got the arm cherry bits on the top, smoothed off the bottom, and this pops on the little jumper stud on the base plate there, and you can pop it off so you can move it around. This is ah, okay, so we have got a sign of some sort. No, we do not. We have got the music, which is not the sheet music for Paint It Black. I'm almost positive. I'll have to play it later and see, but it just looks like random squibbledy to me. <laughs> Could be. Okay, we have got a magic wand, which is also a bow. Works nicely. And oh, there's actually a cello element. Now, I know that there's a double bass piece in the jazz club from a few years ago, and I don't have that. So, I mean, double basses are a lot bigger than cellos. So is this smaller than the double bass? I mean, proportionally, it were, it looks like the right size for a cello up against a mini doll, but I don't know if it's just a black version of the double bass. Anyway, it's amazing. It's a shiny black cello, and everything is so neatly put together over here on this stand in the back corner on Wednesday's side. Nothing is sneaking over that line. Look at how good that is. Let's put these cat ears back over here. <laughs> I love that the cat ears were included. That is such... <laughs> Such an amazing detail. All right, this, I have never seen this piece before, have I? This is going to be so useful, like for little tables, chairs, uh, any number of things. Wow, what an element. Okay, I will think about that a little bit more later, but we have got the gramophone player, and this goes on here. Uh, obviously, we can put thing on there for adding extra scratches to the grooves. Very nice. That piece is so interesting. I will stare at it later and think about all the different fun ways we can incorporate it in other builds. Okay, bag number four. This dorm room is already looking so, so chockers. So we are now working on the outside, on the terrace. Okay, so this is serious, stereotypical Gothic architecture out here, including all the colors, got lots of grays and blacks and little bits of mossy green, just interspersed here and there, breaks up the, the harshness of all of that gray and black stonework. So these are the arched dorm windows, dormer windows. I don't think that's what they're called. On the inside, oh, this is gonna be on Enid's side. This is like one of her K-pop, <laughs> K-pop posters. So this clips in on this side and you can see that, oh my gosh, I just love my, like my maximalist heart is overflowing with joy at Enid's side of the room. Oh, okay. So here we go. We've got the same thing for, for Wednesday's side and this is going on, this is going a little bit differently. There's like little tiny pops of colors for like loose shingle idea on the roof line with the purple and the sand green. They're so complimentary. They break up the austereness is that a word? Might be. <laughs> of that really, really bleak black. Oh my gosh, roof line. Okay, on the inside here we've got another, <laughs> we've got another poster which I was just so excited about, the little tiny pops of colour that I didn't pay enough attention, but it's a little owl that's going to go on 
that's going to go on either side so a little bit more roofing over here it is not it's like yeah oh my gosh okay I love those little pops of color <laughs> it's the little things they make a huge difference devil is in the detailing okay so we have got a couple of little sticks going in on either side of the dorm rooms for their ceiling lamps two very different styles so this one is for Wednesday side which is a chandelier with big jagged bits of glass hanging down I think that works pretty well this is not a lamp so I thought that we've going to be doing a lamp these are the so Ina's room is just covered in veils and scarves and big sheer hangings so that's how they've depicted them that's really clever and she's got a unicorn and I remember this I remember the little cactus oh my goodness all right so all so many good little posters <laughs> Look at the clutter. So much joy. Uh, speaking of joy, I've done something wrong. So that needed to face inwards so that we can attach another one of these streamery kind of things, which are for those veils and yeah, more color. I love it. I call them veils. They're not really. They're like big sheer curtains. That's really what they are. Okay, for, for Enid's side for the lant, turn. <laughs> lamp lantern we've got this which is really works perfectly with the colors but I seem to remember it being green but it doesn't matter and we've got another little stuffed toy which is the hamster mold for friends which is just in a bright orange up on the little edge I love this oh okay my goodness okay bag number five this is where we get to see the oh, the absolutely very very important and iconic stained glass window with the two different colors for the sides so the two different styles the rainbow side for Enid's and the very, very bleak, uh, no color, monochrome. This monochrome just means one, a single shade of a single, like different shades of a single color. So monochrome doesn't quite work, but anyway, you know what I mean. Okay, we are getting some more big pointy, but not pointy with a flat top roof lines going on. I, I know they will have a name and I keep like the word dormer keeps coming to mind and I don't think that that's right, but it could be. Anyway, we're getting some more roof. This is roofing. So these are going to be going quite substantially high. We've got the pokey cornicing kind of things. They'll have like a proper term in Gothic architecture, which I do not know. Uh, but, you know, you look at it and you understand what it is. Okay, so they go on. That's such a clever way to attach the roof line. So that's the front part. This one is going to go onto that little side red technique stick bit. So this sticks in over here at the perfect angle. Look at that. Whoa, okay, some interesting new building techniques. Interesting, no, like new for me, putting these roof pieces on and they're quite structurally substantial. That one goes on here. That looks amazing. That is such an interesting technique. Oh my gosh, all right. And this is the murder board. <laughs> I don't know what do you call it, like the crime board. Anyway, all right, so <laughs> we're up to the next bag. We are working back out here on the terrace. How amazing is that window piece? I could just stare at it all day. So what do we need out here? We obviously need the fencing. We need the correct kind of cornicing and everything like that. That suits the style. Let's go. Let's get all this in. And the blue gray on it as well as mix just goes so nicely as a darker shade of the gray, but not too bleak. Very pretty. The whole thing is really pretty. And obviously we need to have room out here for Jenna to be able, Jenna, Wednesday to be able to play her cello. And we have got brand new gargoyle molds. They are so little cute and weeny. Ah, but you can like knock them off if you want to. So you can try and kill Wednesday like happens in the actual, in the show. And these, such an interesting technique to make those pillars, like boxes on top of the curly screw things that you normally use for elevators. So many interesting things. All right, this bag has got the two girls in their raven dresses. And now, this is something that I didn't even realize was included. I try not to look too much at the promotional pictures and the, the stuff material from for Lego sets when that they're when that they're when they are announced because I want to be surprised when I build it. But this, this is a complete surprise. These are little pop-out drawers for storing extra yeah well, let's have a look so they're there for extra accessories so this is this is Enid's side so we've got a pen got her phone and we've got a drink a cocktail for the raven because uh, for the raven dance and there's also a little spot in there that you can actually pop the mini doll and these stickers provide detailing for the front of the building so we've got and they they, they work for the story so we've got a werewolf we've got a snake which I assume is to depict the Medusa style students I, I think I think and this actually pops in over here as a drawer and once it's in you can't get it out right no there's a little lever on the side that actually 
pings it out, like eject so beautifully. It's such, <laughs> it's such a design masterpiece. I mean, I get excited very easily, but this works very, very nicely. So we have got this side, well, one side, one drawer that's got pink, pink elements for Enid. This side, we've got black striping down here. This is for Wednesday for her Raven accessories. So she gets a drink. If I, if I can stop dropping it, she can have her drink too. And for the middle part, this printed piece with the picture of the, what was it called? The hide, the hide monster. So the information sheet, that is a brand new printed element. And this is also a brand new element for a flower, for a black flower. I love getting new foliage pieces. So this is for Wednesday to, this is for, for the Raven dance. Oh, how good is this? We are getting this flower piece in different colors as well. And you're going to be able to use it for things that are not flowers because that little frilly edge. Oh my goodness. I love new Lego elements. They're so exciting. We're going to be able to make so many fun details. Okay. Speaking of fun details, more stuff for the front. So we've got the vampire bat depiction-y thing. And for this one, I think this is like a mermaid tail for this. So for the sirens. Oh, who are at the school. Okay, there is not like a wasted detail or thought in this set. Everything has got meaning and use and function and beauty and oh my goodness. All right, so these slide in here and obviously you can eject them whenever you want. Just go eject. It's so much fun. <laughs> so good and you can stand them up on end on those little sticky pieces so they'll actually make a display as well such great design the multifunctional hello so good okay all right so we are done with the build let's have a look at it in its entirety so they can actually climb out through the window so it's not a fixed piece so much thought Every single part of this thought has gone into it. And if you pop the two girls here as like for display on the front on the terrace, there's a jumper stud, a jumper stud is there's a stud just sitting on the balcony so that you can pop thing on here as well. Not a single detail left un what's the right word? <laughs> Undetailed, unnoticed, unthought of, something like that. I'm sure it's a saying and I've got it wrong. And it looks so good both from the front and the back. How many sets can you say that about? Every single angle, like the camera loves this set when I was trying to take the photo for the cover page. I, I, I couldn't decide. There were so many good angles here. <laughs> the camera loved it. I love this particularly because you can, like, we can have one Wednesday on the terrace looking menacingly down at the other Wednesday and there's a gargoyle just above her and she could be utilizing that. I mean, I'm not going to say she's going to, but maybe, who knows, we could be having split timelines, could be very weird. Okay, I am overjoyed with this set. I hope it becomes more readily available. Keeping it just as a Lego exclusive, I think it's going to limit the sales for this. I want I want everybody who is a Wednesday fan or a mini doll fan to be able to get their hands on this because you are going to love it. Now let me know your thoughts in the comments. Do all the things that I always ask you to do at the end and check back in because there's another Wednesday set coming up and so many more interesting things to build. So you don't want to miss them. So I will see you again very very soon. <laughs> Bye!